Golden Child released a new album, it was got seven fans who didn't know how to react. The two groups' fandoms are now in a heated debate over Golden Child's latest album concept being an exact copy of GOT7's album from two years ago. GOT7's fans, well known as Argasses, pointed out the uncanny similarities in the two travel-themed album designs via a series of pictures. Our choice is advertising in red invented by Teed's netizens, including Golden Child fans, agree that the albums overlap in concept and this is likely a case of plagiarism. I'm not a fan of either groups, but I have to say, these albums look identical. Wow, this is some serious stuff. The designs are literally the same. This isn't a common concept either. So it's even more evident. I honestly thought they're the same albums, just different versions. LOL. It's such a blatant copy. Do these people not know about copyrights? Both Guts 7 and Golden Child fandoms are trending the hashtag. Waleem. Please explain, and tweeting for an official explanation from Waleem Entertainment, which is Golden Child's managing agency. Most fans are taking a mature stance and focusing on having the agency respond, rather than criticizing a spreading hate. Some are asking GOT7's managing agency JYP Entertainment to take action. Meanwhile, netizens are inspired by how peacefully the two fandoms are approaching the issue. Wow, GOT7 fans are on a whole another level. I would have completely lost my SH asterisk T by now. This is amazing. I'm amazed at how Golden Child fans and GOT7 fans are working on this together to make sure their boys aren't harmed. This is the real fan spirit at its finest. Our gases are being really gentle about this. We should all learn something from this Woolly Eam Entertainment is yet to give any statement. Got seven R gases and Golden Child Goldennesses continue to request feedback on Twitter, as they patiently await for the agency's response to the plagiarism controversy. Song Haikyo and Park Bo Gum confirmed for new drama, Boyfriend.